Hey folks, Mr. Hartzer here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how to do activity 3.1.3, part 4, and that is using the optical shaft encoder. And that is this little thing right here. It has two wires coming out of it, an upper and a lower. If for some reason your numbers are reading uh, backwards, then just switch those two wires. You just have them plugged in wrong. And the first thing we have to do is listen to the code above here. Uh, turn on both motors forward until the encoder has counted 480. Now over in the left you'll notice that I typed out some stuff already for you. It doesn't say how fast to go so I just picked half speed because it's a little bit quieter for the video. And I've already set up that code. Start right motor at 63.5, start left motor at 63.5. We've done that a lot. I feel like I don't need to show you that again. And we have to do that until the encoder has counted 480. This is a comment. That's why it's in green. If you start something off with two backslashes then you, uh, it's not going to count anything. It's not going to, the computer's not going to read it. So it's all good. That's just stuff for us. All right, so until encoder has counted 480, if you need to find that, you can go over to the left under natural language. And this time it's, until, it's under until. And we go down to until encoder counts. I'll even drag and drop that this time. And we have to say until encoder counts, we have to say distance. 480 and then we have to do uh, the sensor port so where we plugged it into the motor and we called that quad and we continue to go on let's double check that quad right there and it's under motor and sensor setup quad good now at that point we have to turn both motors in reverse so I go underneath there and I have to hit start motor and let's do our right motor first. And we have to do it in reverse, so I have a negative, 63 and a half. Then we have to start motor. Let's do our left motor now at a negative 63 and a half. So again, we're wanting to go in reverse. And we do that until another three and a half rotations. And again, all of this is listed just above right here. Until another three and a half rotations. So until encoder counts and that's another three and a half rotation so I'm already at 480 and it's 360 per rotation so I multiply those two numbers I get 1260 but I have to add to that where I'm originally at I'm at 480 so 1260 plus 480 let's see it's 16 17 40 and our uh, thing is called quad and then we stop both, both motors when that happens. So I'm uh, checking out the stuff again above you on the right. And turn on both motors forward until the encoder has counted 480. So I start both motors until I hit 480. And when that happens, again, looking over on my right, I turn on both motors in reverse. So I've started both motors. The speed is negative, so it is in reverse. Until another three and a half rotations of the encoder. That's another 1260 degrees. So I add those up and I get 1740. And I have to label it still as quad. And when that happens, I turn off both motors. So this code should be good and ready to go. We compile the program. You'll notice quad wasn't the correct color for me before, but it has since fixed itself. I, that's because when you compile program, it'll sometimes fix any little errors you have. I changed the name of the um, encoder recently, so that's why that's happening. And let's download the robot. The encoder is this little piece right here. This does not have any mechanical stops. It will spin around as many times as you want it to in either direction. There we go. A little finicky to get it in there this time. Let's look over here. Our encoder right now is at 225. When I start spinning it, I believe this way is reverse. Yep, the number's getting smaller now. If I spin, it's hard to see me spinning it. If I spin this way, the number's getting smaller. If I spin this way, it's getting bigger. Once I hit 480, it should turn on both of our motors. Look in the little windows here if you want to try and see that a little bit better. And once I hit 1740, it should stop. So once I hit the, again, once I hit the start button, they should, both motors should start spinning at that point. And once I hit 480, it should stop and start spinning in reverse. And once I hit 1740, it will stop completely. So I'm going to get close 
to 480 before I get started, just so I don't have to spin it around as many times. So I'm at 445 down here. Make sure you're in the sensors tab if you're not seeing this. Alrighty, let's start it and we'll see what happens. All right, that took me a little while to get those spun around all they needed to, but hopefully you saw that. So they spun one direction until we hit 480, and once I kept spinning, and I kept spinning at the wrong direction, sorry about that, but once I hit 1740, they stopped completely. I know, again, that's kind of hard to see in here, but that did happen. I uh, hope this was helpful, and if it was, please click that like button, and I'm going to put an upload. Let's see, it's going to be over here to go to the next video, part five. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day, everybody.